what God desires. He does not need grand temples. He does not need glorious thrones. All that he needs is a heart that is warm and welcoming. A heart that dares to open out in faith and tell the Lord, Lord, I want you to come into my heart, Lord. Offer to God everyone and everything that you hold in your heart your children, your spouse, your parents, your, your brothers and sisters, those who are so dear to you, those whom you hold in your heart, and tell the Lord, Lord, come, Lord, come into my heart, come into my heart's desires, come into my heart's dreams, come, Lord Jesus, I don't need you, Lord. Come by here. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I praise you, Lord. I adore you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. This is the God who hears our cry. Even before a word is on our tongue, He knows all of it. And He came hearing the cry of His people. He walked where we walked. He felt what we feel. He felt our tiredness. He felt our pain. He felt our helplessness. As he was raised on Calvary, he became one with us and his heart was opened out that truly at the foot of the cross, we will become one with him. He became weak that we may become strong. He took our death that we may live. He took our defeat that we may be victorious. 
He took our loneliness that we may never be alone. Let us tell the Lord, Lord, I draw to the foot of your cross and I bow down there along with Mother Mary, along with John, along with Mary Magdalene, along with everyone who surrendered their lives at the foot of the cross. I bow down there, Lord, just waiting for your mercy. With an absolute confidence in what God is going to do for us, let us begin this chaplet of divine mercy. Lord Jesus, you died, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. And the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I, I trust, trust in, in you. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. And earth. I, I believe, believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord. He was, was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, died, died and was buried. buried. He, he descended, descended into hell. hell. On the third God day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he'll come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us look at Jesus. Jesus, our God, has come in our midst. But he reveals to us that we are here in his presence because he has chosen us. Jesus had said, no one can come to me unless, unless you have been drawn by the heavenly father. As we are in his presence, the one thing we must know is nothing in our life is an accident. Least of all this moment. If we are in his presence, it is because we have been called here. And Jesus explains to everyone who has come to him. It is not you who chose me, but it is I who chose you. I have chosen you that you may go and bear fruit in desert lands. That you may be the instrument of God. God has chosen not the great, not the capable, but He chooses the weak. He chooses the weary prophets and raises them up to be the powerful voice of God in the wilderness. He chooses not those who are greater than the rest, but He chooses the least, the least worthy to be His prophets. If God is looking at you at this moment from the altar. It is because he is speaking to you. My son, my daughter, you are mine. Here I am calling you to be my instrument. I've called you to be a light to the nations. I've called you to be my prophet. Wherever there is a battle, wherever there is a brokenness, 
And every prophet who heard the voice of God thus said, O oh God, I am too young. O oh God, I have sinned. I am a man of unclean lips. O oh God, I am not strong myself. Tell the Lord, Lord, if you have chosen me, I am all yours. Tell him. Tell him your fears. Confess, confess your unworthiness. Oh God, why me, Lord? There are so many who are stronger. So many who are greater. So many who have done much more. Oh God, me. Who will hear my voice? And that is where the Lord who calls us is the Lord who gives us His Holy Spirit. He gives us His Holy Spirit precisely that we may be His prophets. And Jesus says, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you receive the power from above and you will be my witnesses and you will speak my word and when you speak my word, signs and wonders will follow. Tell the Lord, Lord, I want to be your witness. Lord, I want to speak your words, O oh God. I want to see what you see. Surrender to Jesus, your eyes, your ears, your tongue, your life. And tell the Lord, Lord, pour out your spirit. We are praying right in the beginning for this anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God who will lead us. The Spirit of God who is the Spirit of righteousness. Who will make us right. Stretch out your hand and tell the Lord, Lord, pour out your Spirit. your spirit on all the peoples of the earth let your sons and daughters speak your word of prophecy send us dreams and visions Reveal the secrets of your heart Lord, our faith is rising Let all heaven sound the coming of your day Let creation 
telling God, God, I will be a prophet, Lord. I will be your servant, your mouthpiece, right here where I am, in my home, in my workplace, in my study place. Lord, in my city, Lord, wherever I go, I shall not be ashamed of you, Lord, but I will be a witness for you. Reach out and tell the Lord, Lord, I'm uniting myself with everyone else at this moment who is reaching out to you. We are gathered around the altar, around the place of God's sacrifice, around Calvary from where the Holy Spirit has been poured out. We are gathered around and we are united in the Spirit because we are going to be raising up a generation of prophets, prophets who will speak God's all-powerful word in every situation. We are entrusting ourselves to the mission of salvation that God has called us to. Reach out and tell God, God, here I am, Lord, waiting for your Holy Spirit. Lord, pour out your Spirit. Lord, pour out your Spirit on all the peoples of the earth. Let your sound Send us dreams and visions Reveal the secrets of your heart Lord, our faith is rising Let all heaven sound the coming of the day There's gonna be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They will be saved Hallelujah Call on the name of Jesus Call on the name of Jesus Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Anointed One. Come, Lord Jesus. Anoint us with your Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, here we are, Lord Jesus. We are here, Lord, waiting for your Holy Spirit. Not every one of us, Lord. Everyone who is present here before your altar, Lord. Lord, your Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. You are our hope. You are our righteousness. Lord Jesus, we praise you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we adore you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we adore you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We look at the scripture in Ezekiel chapter 37. God has raised the prophet Ezekiel. And the word of God says, the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he was led out in the spirit of the Lord. This is the prophet. The one upon whom the hand of God can rest. The one who is led by the Holy Spirit. In this first decade of the divine mercy, we want the Lord in his mercy to take over our lives. We want to experience the hand of God upon each one of us. There will be some of you there who can experience the Holy Spirit. 
has a gentle pressure on your head. The hand of the Lord comes upon us. And the hand of God will guide. Let's tell the Lord, Lord, I want to be guided by your hand. In the past, oh God, I went where I thought I should. I spoke what I thought I should. I did what I thought I should. There were times I even wanted to help my family members. I wanted to help someone or something. But I did not say or do what you wanted me to do. But today, God, I pray. As I bow before you, let your hand be upon me. Let your hand guide me, Lord, and make me your instrument to those who are dear to me. Make me your instrument in the church. Make me your instrument in this world. Lord, lead me out where you want me to go. Even if it be a valley, a dark valley, a valley in the shadow of death. Even if it be, O oh God, to a distant wilderness. Even if it be, Lord, to the heights. Lord, I will only go as you lead me. Let's pray for this humility, this servanthood, this gift of being a servant of God. As we offer not just ourselves, but everyone at this moment who is praying with us. Eternal Father, we offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world the prophet Ezekiel was led out by the Spirit of God and the scripture goes this way. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the spirit and set me in the center of the broad valley. A valley that was filled with dry bones. And he made me walk among those dry bones in every direction. So many dry bones lay on the surface of the valley. How dry they were. And then God asked me, Son of man, can these bones come back to life? Can these bones come back to life? Dry bones, so numerous, beyond the count. Lord God, I answered, You alone know God. I don't see any hope, but God, I am wanting to see what you see. You alone know if these bones can live. And Lord, you alone can raise these bones back to life. When we look at our families today, when we look at a relationship, your marriage, when we look at someone we love and care for, a dear friend, a child, perhaps too much has gone wrong. Perhaps it is an addiction a drug addict you're praying for, a person in severe financial distress, too many calculations went wrong. It's a parent who's not been sleeping at night because you're so filled with guilt when you think of your child. The Lord is asking you to stop and He's asking you, think what God can do. Think what God can do for you. He can 
do beyond turning back the time maybe too much has gone wrong by your understanding and that is what mary and martha thought their brother was dead and in the tomb for days too much had gone wrong and yet for jesus it was not too late though he came 4 days late he was still not too late as god asked the prophet son of man can these bones live god is asking you and can you tell god god you alone know i'm so sure you know lord what to do I'm so sure Lord you can do. Let us offer to God every situation, every valley of dry bones where we are placed. Every valley of dry bones that we have had to walk through. And we are declaring our faith saying, you are my strength when I am weak. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. God that situation where you need faith that situation where you gave up that relationship that addiction that person that person you are praying for and tell the Lord Lord this is impossible but I know that you are the God of the impossible you are the God of the impossible you will bring order where there is disorder You will bring healing where there is sickness. You will bring life where there are dry bones, Lord. Lord, I believe in you. I believe in you, Lord. Every moment in my sin, in my cross, in my shame, I will trust in you. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising again, I bless your name. You are my all in all. When I fall down you pick me up when I am dry you fill my cup you are my all in all impossible situation over every impossible relationship over every impossible addiction call on the name of Jesus as you say Jesus lamb of god 
pray for the gift of faith in this second decade eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world the lord is calling us like he called ezekiel can these bones come back to life He's calling us to exercise our faith. Because we were not meant to live in the valley of dry bones. We were not meant to live in the valley of the shadow of death. The death of dreams, the death of joy, the death of relationships, the death of righteousness and holiness. We have allowed too much to be taken away. The Lord is asking, can these bones live? And Ezekiel said in faith, what every prophet should say, Lord, I know. You alone know if it can. And then God said to him, prophesy over these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Prophesy to the dry bones. Yes, God is calling us to have faith to move mountains. Not to live in the shadow of these mountains. When God called Martha and Mary, they had to roll the stone. The moment they said, Jesus, I believe you are the resurrection and the life. I believe there is nothing impossible for you. Jesus said, roll the stone. And Bartimaeus cried out to Jesus. And Jesus called him. Bartimaeus threw away his mantle and rushed to Jesus. God is asking us to put our faith into action. Till this moment... We looked at things went, that went wrong. And like Ezekiel in his first journey heard what the bones had to say. He knew from those bones that there was a catastrophe. There was a war. He knew from the dryness of the bones that things had become far too late, too gone. And we too have seen everything going wrong and we've heard what these tragedies have had to say. We've heard what our inner voices have said. But now we need to hear what God says. The prophet's ear was inclined to the voice of God. 
we have been listening to so many other things and now we want to listen and wait for the word of jesus the word of god says that god will speak to you if you cleanse your ears if you cleanse your tongue jeremiah chapter 15 verse 19 god says if you come back i will take you back and in my presence you shall stand if you utter what is precious and not what is worthless you shall be my mouthpiece and they will turn to you not you who turns to them i will make you towards your people a strong wall of bronze though they fight against you they shall not prevail for i am with you to save you and to rescue you let's tell the lord lord have your way have your way lord that from this moment i will only see what you want me to see i will never utter what is unworthy lord never again a word that is unworthy i will not lend my ears to what is unworthy offer to jesus your inclination to speak hatred to think hatred to listen to hatred to listen to filth to speak filth tell the lord lord my tongue is all yours and my ear is all yours lord have your way lord have your way to sanctify you sanctify your tongue sanctify your ears and tell the lord lord i want to be a faithful a faithful instrument of your word lord have your way lord have your way So oh God, fill our hearts with joy, with hope, Lord Jesus. Lord, remove every darkness, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Reveal to us your word, Lord. Our ears are inclined to you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Let us offer this third decade praying for a cleansing of our senses. 
whatever there is that is unclean we are now offering it and telling lord lord take it away lord now is a moment now is a grace eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world the prophet went where god asked him to go on a second journey through the valley of the dry bones and god said to him prophesy over these bones and say dry bones hear the word of the lord listen i will make breath enter you so you may come to life i will put nerves on you make flesh grow over you cover you with skin and put breath into you so that you may come to life then you shall know that i am the lord and the prophet says i prophesied as i had been commanded i prophesied as i had been commanded and as soon as i spoke god's word there was a rattling that thunder the bones came together joining one to the other sinews nerves appeared flesh grew skin covered the prophet obeyed god he obeyed god he went where god asked him to go he spoke where god told him to speak he did exactly what god asked him to he did not doubt he never added or deleted and this is the obedience that god wants a surrender Every prophet is one who is surrendered to God. Tell the Lord, Lord, I surrender my life to you. You are the shepherd of my soul. Lord, you give me the courage to go where I have to go. Give me the wisdom to hear what I have to hear. Give me the obedience to speak and to do what you ask me to. surrender now to god your life surrender your heart shepherd of my soul your anxieties your fears surrender to god that decision you're delaying in making god is waiting and don't keep god waiting don't keep god waiting But of my soul I give you full control wherever you may lead I will follow I have made my choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead I will go Shepherd of my soul I give you full control wherever you may lead I will follow I have made my choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead I will go Just by a gentle stream 
the shepherd of my soul is by my side Should I face a mighty mountain Or a valley dark and deep The shepherd of my soul is by my side At this moment, the Lord is giving someone the courage to go back and to say sorry the Lord will go with you and when the Lord's presence is with you mighty miracles will happen the Lord is giving you that courage tell the Lord Lord I accept Lord I accept your guidance Lord for you are the shepherd and I will trust in you hallelujah thank you Jesus praise you Lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus praise you Jesus hallelujah 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 Thank Lord, you, we praise you. Lord, we thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Praise, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, praise you, Jesus. You. Let us pray, offering this decade for the courage to be faithful to God. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world as the prophet spoke the word everything came in place but there was no breath and then God spoke to the prophet saying, prophesy to the breath, prophesy to the spirit, prophesy son of man, say to the breath, O oh breath, come and breathe into these slain bodies, that they may come to life. I prophesied as, as he commanded me and the breath entered them and they came to life and there stood before a vast army. Yes, the Holy Spirit is what gives life. And God said, This valley of dry bones is my chosen people who are crying out saying, Our hope is lost and we are cut off. Cut off from God. Cut off from life. And God says here, I am going to open your graves. And I will make you rise up again. I will put my spirit in you and you will settle in the land. At this moment, let us pray for a mighty anointing. Whoever we are praying for, let's tell the Lord, Lord, send ho your Holy Spirit, O oh God. We are offering this final decade for this mighty anointing of the Spirit of oh God. If we trust in God and call out to the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, ask, seek, long, knock, and you will receive the Spirit of God. Eternal Father, we offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy God holy, holy mighty, mighty one, one. 
holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world oh god pour out your spirit anoint us and bless us lord spirit come like a mighty wind raise these bones back to life again Spirit come like a mighty wind Raise these bones back to life again Lift us up from this desert land Breathe upon us and we will stand Wind of God Savior, our hope and rest. All our idols have turned to dust. You alone can deliver us. Wind of Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.